Carl Eleanor, uh, a bit heated up there on the stage. Uh, it seems like your relationship with James has had a lot of uh, peaks and valleys. You know, you've been right up there and you've been right down there, and right, but now it seems like you're just ready to fight. Yeah, just ready to go. You know what I mean? I just want to uh, get get it done now. You know, we've been maxed. This is the third time. Um, I just want to hurry up and get it done and, and get on to the next ones. You know what I mean? I've had a. It's been a year now since I fought, and I, I, I've always prided myself on trying to be like an active fighter. You know, so I like, especially now with the kind of fights that will come after this as well. I want to get in at the way and, and try and have a busy year. You know, that's already took up a big chunk of the year. I mean, it's May, so it's nearly halfway through the year. So hopefully, I can have a, another two after after James so I still at least get three in this year you know uh, James obviously is a guy who is a big star he makes a lot of money and he, he flaunts that a good bit yep. you are not so far in that situation has this last year financially been, been a strenuous for you because of the final of fights no nah, they've paid Bellator's the best people to be under like if it had been the UFC maybe I'll, that would have been the case but Bellator's man Tretter's the way that, that, that you could ask for you know what I mean like they've probably looked after us I've, uh, I've, 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 I don't want to see what they've given us but I've, sure. definitely, I've, been, I've been looked after you know what I mean and obviously the first time was a nightmare I still got paid for that you know what I mean it wasn't, it wasn't my fault like that uh, obviously James came out and said stuff like that before like it was me this and that but realistically Bellator wouldn't have still paid us it was my fault it was a nightmare situation I wanted to fight just as much as he, he said he did so and then the second time I still want to fight I want. I even offered to, I would have fought in a different weight division if I had to still get on the Dublin card uh, and they said they wanted us to fight James in May so they said look we'll still pay you for that so I still got there's two fights I have not had and still been paid for so I've been I've been well looked after. I'm betting, I've been trapped right, you know. So. Is Ringo going to be fighting on this Nah, mate. Honestly, that's the that's a, that's a, I think that's the thing people see when they when they look for a reason why they've not fought the best. Maybe maybe Ring Rust is a factor for some fighters. I think maybe if people haven't been active and then and then they go in there and they get the jitters and the panic and stuff like that. But mate, I had four years off before and then I come back and look what I've done in a short period of time. You know what I mean? I'm main event in the card here. I'm out in New York and that's in a short period of time. So I don't think Ring Rust will be a factor for me. At all. I just want to hurry up and obviously get get this one done and then show, show how active I can be and fight some of these bigger names, you know what I mean? Like I'll fight any anyone in this division and I've always said that I would and there's not one name I'll not take. So hopefully smash this fight there and get it get a big name next, that's what I want. I remember we spoke before the first fight with James that was supposed to happen and you were talking about wanting to fight in the US and wanting to sort of break into the the bell, like into the, the stronghold the Bellator has in the US. They brought you over here to New York. There, obviously, they put you up in a, in a nice hotel here, Times Square, from what I can see on social media. Uh, yeah. I mean, do you uh, feel like you're? Do you feel like the US is the next stop for you? Hundred um, percent. I don't know how much I'm allowed to say about it, but regardless, what happens this fight, they've already said that I'll uh, that I'll be fighting in the states next. So I don't know if they've got names in mind to wait to see how the fight with James goes and then give us an idea or what. But they've definitely said stateside next. So that's what I want. That's my dream. I've always wanted to fight out here my whole life, and that's the that's the way it's going to go. You know what I mean? So. Uh, we didn't get to see much of James. Obviously, he didn't fight you the last time. And, uh, since since the last time you were seen against Labiano, he only did about 35 seconds with Roman Salazar. Although. Impressive 35 seconds, you know, the flying knee was good, he got in that trophy, but and Salazar, the record may not say it, but he's fought twice in the UFC, he's a very accomplished fighter. What do you see as, as the areas to exploit for you against someone like James Gallagher? Um, you know what, I, I'm not even looking at the areas where I feel like I can exploit him, I'm just going to go in and do what I can do, and I know like, I can be a nightmare for anyone to get anywhere near us, I'm massive for the weight, I'm long, and he can see what he wants about is not knocking people out, but the reason I've not knocked people out in my, in my pro career is because it's as soon as I hit them, they didn't want anything to do with it. And if he's not man enough to want to come out and trade like that, then we'll see, you know, and I'll, I'll bang him out there and I will finish him that way. But if not, then I feel like I can submit him as well. So it's not as much exploiting things in his game, it's just going in there and implementing what I can do. So. Of those like top guys in the division, you know, the people with huge name values, James is one of the guys that a lot of people would say is sort of like, he's, he's one of the like youngest, he's, he's the, the youngest, and he's got, a, he's got a, a relative name value to like experience level that's... That would even mean that maybe he'd be more, like if you were asked to fight one of the biggest bantamweights, you would choose James, I would imagine. Well, it's think of it that way. If like I would list all these names off the top of my head, you know, like these big bantamweight names. Here. Uh, exactly, you know, and it's like it's a super, super tough fight. Where it's like, if, if you're thinking about it as a business perspective, James is the easiest fight in the division for potentially yeah. the most gain. You know what I mean? It's the most. The most pros without the it's little cons, you know yeah. what I mean? It's not like a 
you know what I mean? I don't know. I was going to say, but basically, he, he, I feel like his skill set. He's got a certain way he likes to fight, and I feel like the promotion that you get from fighting James, it's like high reward, low risk. So I feel like James is, the, for me personally, my style, I feel like James is the easiest fight in the division uh, for the most reward. But there is a situation at the moment with the title at Bantamweight. Mm -hmm. Have you got your eye on that a little bit? You know what it is, mate? I always said that when I, when, I, when I first signed at Bellator, I thought, you know what, like one day it would be cool, cool to try and fight for it and try and win the belt. And well, you were saying you win a million miles from fighting yeah, Haraguchi. Yeah, exactly, no, exactly. So the opportunities are there. You know, and I feel like uh, a win over James, and then could be one fight from there, or maybe uh, get a big name after James as well, and one win away from it. You know, so it's definitely, it's definitely within touching distance, and I truly believe that I can do it. You know, I feel like any any of these people, uh, they're all beatable. You know, everyone's beatable, and I feel like it just, it's all in your mind, and I feel like I can beat them, and I feel like given the chance I will so we'll see well, you've been bringing huge like aggression and almost like all your frustrations of the last year and a half out on James in May nah nah I fight the same way every time I feel like if I fight in aggression and stuff he makes silly mistakes and uh, I feel like I'll be going in there the way I always do relax cool and calm and collected and just put on a show uh, and the last one for me uh, obviously you had a lot of people come over twice from Sunderland to uh, to Dublin it's, it's actually a to get well, you know what? I'm, that's what I'm hoping for. You know, I feel like uh, I feel like the amount of people I got to uh, Dublin last time was crazy. You know what I mean? It's, the first time was good. The second time was better. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that, uh, that I haven't lost credibility with people. I feel like, you know, I feel like oh, exactly. I that's what I and I've got a great. I've got a, I have got a great. Uh, kind of fan base if you will you know like support around us it's more friends than fan base you know they're all my friends and, and I feel like that's a, 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 a massive uh, thing in my favour I feel like they'll, I feel like they'll all still be there you know supporting so I'm not for it. Yeah, I'm so excited for this <laughs> thank you so much thank you cheers, cheers. Thank you,